Okay, this is the um, October 2nd meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. Uh, just to let you know that um, Frontier Community Access Television is taping the meeting tonight. We have Alyssa and Esther here tonight with us. Esther is new. Welcome, Esther. Um, this is for viewing later on by uh, residents and the public. Okay, first item on the agenda, minutes for September 18th. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for September 18th. Mm -hmm. One second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Our next item on the agenda is uh, we have warrants. Uh, we have a vendor warrant for $96,864. Payroll warrant of $105,682. A payroll deduction warrant of twenty-seven thousand seven hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Uh, those are for fiscal year um, eighteen, and we have a payroll warrant from nine twenty-one seventeen of three hundred fifty-eight dollars, and a payroll deduction warrant for twenty-one uh, nine twenty-one seventeen of twenty-six dollars. Make a motion that we approve those warrants. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, meetings attended by select board members? No, we had an FCAT board meeting last Thursday. Okay. What else did we go to? We had an MMA breakfast. Right. On Friday. Okay. Okay. Uh, and Tom and I had a planning board meeting on last Thursday. Okay. That's the regional planning board. I had a uh, Franklin County Regional Transit Authority meeting a week ago this past Thursday, and they had just received a uh, uh, warning of a hundred thousand dollar grant. That they're going to be using that for transportation costs for Shelburne Falls, Buckland, Conway, and Ashfield, for to be able to give uh, disabled veterans and regular veterans and uh, people that have to go for drug abuse uh, uh, counseling and stuff like that that haven't got a ride, they're going to be able to get it done for free. They applied for this grant months ago in advance and were just awarded it. So uh, you'll be seeing probably the FRTA bus coming through town sometime in the near future. You're picking people up if they have no ride that they'll take them to where they got to go. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, a grant. I thought that was pretty damn nice. Okay, aside from the... Yeah, like the screen, yeah. You know, yeah. And aside from the uh, Massachusetts Selectmen's Association meeting last Thursday night, um, I was at the MMA legislative breakfast the week before that. I also had uh, an MMA board meeting in Boston uh, before that, and I had a local government advisory commission meeting in Boston where I was asked to give a presentation on our reaction to um, the tornado. Uh, so that went, that went very well. So that's the meetings I've been at. Um, citizens concerns, we have any citizens concerns? Brian? Yes, we do. Well, you can tell my point never gets across. I thought maybe show and tell would work pretty good though. Let Brian sit down. No, 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 sit no, down. No, no. Yeah, yeah, you, sit, you, sit you down. You need to understand yeah. how, how these roads are going in this town. I have a letter here from another concerned citizen that I would love to have read out loud. It's signed by the people. We'll look at it. No, I'd like to have that read out loud. We'll look at it. I would like to have that what read out loud. What other concerns do you have, Brian? The other concerns I have are the roads are in such terrible shape. I've lived in this town for over 50 years. Mm -hmm. I've gone, I've seen three different road bosses. These three road bosses haven't had anywhere near the equipment that this road boss we now have, no, nor do they have the equipment that's as good as this road boss has. And the dirt roads are in the worst conditions ever. Here's a few of the samples of the stuff that I picked up off the road that I'm kicking out of the middle of the road so that my car doesn't hit it, so that I can walk. These are just some of the things. This is blacktop. What kind of stuff is he throwing on the roads now? It's not even gravel. I mean, I, I've got a pile of stuff, stones this big, sharp stones, 
we'll, I, I come we'll back look from it, Maine. We'll look into it, Brian. No, no, I hear this all the yeah, time. We'll, That's we'll all I ever hear it, from you is, yeah. oh, we'll look yeah. into it. We'll look into it. What satisfaction do I get? My tax dollar is just as good as yours, 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 but yet my dirt roads are still in the worst conditions they've ever been in. Why should I suffer when all the other black dot roads are in excellent condition? Don't give me that look. I don't I give me pardon. that look. I am right. tired of being sit here and come here with complaints that I think should be should be concerns to you as the board of the people that run this town. And all they ever get is we'll look into it. Okay. We'll look into it. We'll look into it. We'll look into it, Brian. Yeah. Thank you. That's all they ever get from you is we'll look into it. How about you, Bob? What do you think? I have a dirt road. My house is on a dirt road, and then that seems okay to me. God, okay to you. He put this stuff down within two days. It was so washboard you couldn't even drive over it. I would still like that letter. Let right out loud. We'll look at it. Right. Mm -hmm. Afraid to read it? I said we'll look at it. Afraid to read it? Yeah. Another, get, another concern are we, right there, too. Are we, getting, are we getting any complaints from everybody else on the dirt roads? I haven't had any recent. Okay. That's because I'm no actually here in regards to stand behind the line on this issue. Um, I live on South Deerfield Road, which is paved. I crossed the road to go down on Graves and Reed's Bridge for 20 years, walking dogs, riding my bike, running. Um, I'm not throwing anybody under the bus, but since Bob has not been in charge anymore, you definitely see a change in the way the roads are maintained. Um, I fear for twisting an ankle, breaking an ankle. I'm a runner. But this past week I went down there practicing for the um, Cover Bridge Classic. I ripped a pair of sneakers, bruised an ankle from a kicked up rock. I mean, I don't drive down there, so I can only imagine what it's doing to people's cars that live down there. But I have to opt to walk down Matthews Road with my dogs because they can't even walk on the shards of, I don't even know what you would call it, but it's stones that are like, this big around. I mean, it's, I don't know if Bob used to roll it, so it made it flatter, so it wasn't so noticeable when they did the job, but it's been a concern of mine for at least five years. And I've just never said anything but complain to my fellow runners or people walking their pets or riding their bikes. I mean, it's just everybody that uses that road for recreation. It's just a common thing in passing. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Everybody complains yeah, that they don't go down here. Road. I live on 116, but it's Graves Road and Reed's Bridge. And my husband actually works on Roaring Brook Road and where it stops from pavement and goes to gravel so he can go pick up his dump truck in the morning. He said the same situation, turns to a washboard. He said he's seen numerous people with flat tires. I mean, but he's working. He can't stop to help anybody. Have, uh, have Ron come in next. next yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, your name, if we need to contact you. Jody. John, why don't we, uh, Wendell Slackman, someday take a tour of somebody's goals and just get a first look at them ourselves. Okay, we'll do that. Bob? Jody. Sure. McIntyre. Anything else, Joey? No. Next item on the agenda is the special town meeting on October 30th. Uh, we've got a number of things to go over for that, um, and we have a joint meeting with the Board of Assessors scheduled. Oh, that says 705, doesn't it? Oh. Oh, God. Well, it's not a disaster. No. <laughs> um, because we, uh, my understanding is we don't have a... Uh, uh, we're not ready for a tax classification hearing at this time. Um, uh, I was planning to ask the select board to meet a week from tonight um, when I think we will have all of the figures ready. Sounds um, good. I, I don't think we'll be able to get them done by your Thursday meeting. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I think we'll just Table, we'll table, we'll table that, table yeah. that here. Is there a hold yeah. up in the figures being? There, the hold up is that um, for several years the tax collector has requested that we change over from billing by deed to billing by parcel. So someone like Bob, for example, who has the house mm -hmm. and then across the road is his garage piece, 
and over beside the house is a third piece. Well, he has been getting two bills, he'll be getting a third. So it's been creating all these extra valuation accounts for each so parcel. So you'll split off the parcel that's across yes, the road. exactly. Oh, interesting. I, yeah. I didn't buy it that way. So. No, you didn't. Uh, but by law, because it's across the road, it is a separate parcel. Uh, I guess so. So we, in the past, we had done it the other way, but about 90% of the towns in the Commonwealth do value by parcel. The value will essentially be the same. But you'll get it on three pieces of paper instead of two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's the double checking. Uh, because, you know, some people have ten parcels where they previously had one bill. Mm -hmm. And so it's the double checking that has taken longer than I anticipated. It has to be done carefully, else, uh, you know, if I miss something or miss a way of double checking it, send it to the state, they'll just toss it right back at us. So I might as well get it done properly before we go in. I'm working at it full blazes. So. Better to do it this year than next year when there's a new valuation program coming in. So uh, here we are. Yep. All right. So we'll just so table we'll that. Postpone. Next, yes. Next week. Yeah. Thank you. That way we don't need to uh, publicly post it again because that's already been done. Right. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Well said. Good. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Any final changes on the warrant? I wanted to mention a few things. Um, there, there have been some typos that have been corrected. Um, but beyond that, I think uh, Peter Zale is here to speak to the Conservation Commission item. Yeah. Which, yeah, so I think that's the only it's one. Article, article 8. <laughs> article 8, yeah. Everything else is okay. okay. You want this copy? No, okay. Oh, you got it. Peter? Yeah. There, there, there seems to be a lot of confusion around this. We're, we're, we're just trying to make life a little simpler given the fact that it's almost impossible to get people to show up uh, and, and serve on, on town committees, boards, and commissions. Um, we are currently mandated, actually, to have five members uh, by vote of town, uh, town meeting. We currently have four sitting, one of whom uh, is rather reluctant. Um, so it's difficult for us to get a quorum of three when one of the three who are willing and a little bit more eager than the fourth to serve uh, takes a vacation. Mm -hmm. uh, we are under a certain constriction by, by the state and, and by deadlines. Deadlines, yeah. you know, to, hear, to have hearings within certain numbers of days. Absolutely. Uh, so. What we wanted to do, what, what, and what we asked for a, a warrant question was a minimum of three members and a maximum of five. Since we currently have four, it actually won't change the quorum requirement. We'll still need three. But I think we're all reluctant to ask the fourth member to resign. <coughs> Uh, because it's so difficult to get anybody to serve. Is it not showing up? The fourth member not showing up at all? Um, she does occasionally. What's that? She will occasionally. Um, <coughs> certainly to help us out. I mean, she's she's very cooperative. I mean, there's there's no question here of malice or or, or ill intent. Uh, it's just a, a question of she's busy. She took on a new job. You know. I mean, I understand all that. So we also have a fairly heartfelt belief that three is too few, that we benefit from an exchange of opinions by having as many members as we possibly can. And I think we also take 
Yeah, well, we also object to town council's interpretation that it's possible that someone could politicize this commission. <coughs> uh, because quite frankly, the DEP can override us and has overridden us mm -hmm. uh, within 10 days of us making a determination. Mm -hmm. So n no, nobody can politicize this thing unless they've got a tremendous amount of pull with the state and the DEP. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I find, I, uh, I guess my opinion here is that, and I, and I believe I'm speaking for the commission, is that to put a, a question on the warrant that reduces the, the members to three, when none of us agree with that, it, it's kind of silly. But right now your hands are tight. You just said. Well, right now we're dealing with it. You know, we're dealing with it the best we can. Yeah. But what happens? What happens? I guess I I'm don't play the uh, devil's advocate. Uh, yeah. That's fine. What happens when you have people that are trying to build homes in the community, and they need your decisions or votes, and they're under restraints of uh, somewhat of a deadline to getting going before winter or some whatever type of season it might be, and you can't take a vote because you don't have a quorum. Where does that leave them people? Well, it leaves them up a creek, you know. There you go. That says it all. You know, it does. But I mean, I will say that we will go to extraordinary lengths. We have scheduled frequent mm -hmm. special meetings in order to meet those deadlines and, and to help people out. I mean, well, I'm trying to say is that shouldn't happen at this time. I agree. I, I totally agree. And Peter, when, when was the last time you had a full committee? Or a full five? Commission? Five. When was the last time? I think it's been a while. I'll bet it's four or five years. <coughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, this is, you know, and, and I spoke to Jack Gates about this. And, you know, he's betwixt and between. He, he'd love to make it three, but he, he argued the same argument you had was, well, you know, we really want to make it diverse and we want to get as many people on there as we can. But the fact of the matter is you're having a, a tough, you know, time getting people to volunteer, especially because they need to know some specialized, and your manual is like this. And not quite that thing. <laughs> they, 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 need, they need to know certain things in order to make the decisions they need to make. Well, I think, I think honestly, the problem is that people think they're going to get a chance to, to be wonderfully proactive at conservation and, and, and saving the environment. And what they're finding out is that they have to, in fact, enforce the DEP rules. Sure. Which, sure. Yeah. you know, are written, frankly, for the eastern half of the state. They're not written for the western half of the state. Mm -hmm. and the only thing that keeps me on this committee is because I feel I can mitigate some of the impact of that eastern state bias mm -hmm. in the laws for local homeowners who are probably more concerned about stewardship of their land than most people. Yeah. Than most people. Now, now didn't, didn't we get an opinion from town council right. that it should be a specific number? Yes. See, we, we asked town council about I, I realize that three to five situation. But, I, but his, his logic was politica, politicization or politicization, and I don't buy it because the DEP can override us. Well, what happens when there's four? I mean, we still need a quorum. Uh, yeah, still quorum a quorum and still three. Yeah. That's right. But with four, at least we have a more diverse opinion. Yeah. yeah, but you're going to have the same. You're going to have the same problem of getting yeah. a quorum. What, what you What you're finding nowadays is is is, and the, we're seeing it in this community right here alone. Committees are downsizing. It's just a natural fate that's taking place, because people don't want to commit themselves as much as they did years ago. I agree. I mean, so we've got to adapt for that. My request would be to just delete the the, the warrant. But where is that going to lead you guys? We'll just keep muddling along the way we do. As I don't, I don't. We'll do the best we can. We are doing the well, best. Well, I understand you're doing the best you can, but with that little less number, you should be able to get your votes at least in most of the times that you're looking for, one way or the other. I, 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 I think we cancel two, maybe three regular meetings a year, and that's only because of lack of activity. Um, we, and we hold probably five or six special meetings a year. 
just to meet deadline requirements. Um, I, if this town, if, if, if this article passes, somebody has to resign. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Marcel may, in fact, be reluctant, but frankly, I'll probably do something. Um, yeah, uh, Jack Gates came to the select board and requested that they change something. Um, and uh, from everything you're saying, you don't think the current situation needs to be changed, except maybe making it open to five, uh, open to as as few as as few three. as three. We want some flexibility. Um, that's all. And the problem was getting people to serve, uh, but you you actually don't support it going to three. No, because of it reduces the diversity. So yeah, but it also reduces your quorum to two. Yes, it does. Yeah, so you can you can have meetings. It with creates a efficiency. It reduces diversity. Can we set the quorum at two if we have four people? We can. I mean, is the quorum? No. 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 That's, 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 that's already five majority, 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 majority members. I know we don't ever want an even number. So it, you're, it sounds as though you're arguing not to change the current situation because you don't want it to be three. Right. And that's part. Of, that's what we're proposing here. So, right. as so, you would rather stick with the status quo than have this article. No, you would like it to be three to five. And and and, and I, I have yes. We can't do three to five. So I know that's going to get. Three to five. I'd rather have five. Five. I'd rather leave it at five. I mean, we 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 had a discussion at our last meeting. We four of us. And we're present, <laughs> and we all said we don't want to go to three. Um, I, I have a further point. Um, we can make this effective at a future date also, so that um, it could be a matter of not reappointing someone instead of someone resigning at this point. You know, you know Peter, you said you haven't had five in four or five years. That's true. Uh, you know, how do we solve that problem? Oak Springs Eternal. Uh, <laughs> that's not good enough. You know, you're having trouble getting people on this commission because it takes a lot to be on this commission in terms of the knowledge that's a lot they of work. need. It is. It, it's just playing a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, I spent most of today doing nothing but conservation commission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and even on committees that don't require a lot of work, we're having trouble getting volunteers. I understand. So, you know, Jack told me, he said, we're, we're having an awful time getting people to serve on the Conservation Commission for a lot of reasons. Not only because of, of the knowledge situation, but because people don't want to make those kinds of decisions that may affect their neighbors. You know, so there's, there's all kinds of reasons here why it should be less than five. Well, I, I mean, I guess my argument is you take it down to three, you are going to pull it aside. It, we know what? You will politicize it. Because how, be, how are we politicizing it? Because there'll be fewer people to offer opinions. I mean, I have talked, I have talked both or, or Jack is, and Bruce. Is there, is there that June. much of a diversity of opinion when you have five people? Yes. It's much greater than there is with three. Well, you haven't had five in a long time, so how do you know that? Well, I don't know how you know anything. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Tom, you think we can word this so that it becomes three when the committee is reduced to three at some future time? I mean, we ask for a minimum of three, a maximum of five. Yeah, we can't. Right. We can't. We can't do that. We, we can't. Do that. That's how. If we stay at five, you have a situation where you can't fill the quota of five. And, but you still need a quorum of three instead of a quorum of two if you go down to three members. Well, you're going to put a question on the warrant where the Conservation Committee has voted four to zero 
We've got, got we've got three to zero. Yeah, I know that was that was uh, my year. I didn't realize that Jack had participated in that uh, vote. It was a September twelfth meeting. September twelfth, and Marcel attended. So it was me, Jack, Bruton, and Marcel. So it was four against. Um, was Jack away? At that point? Or was he? No, he was, oh, I'm he was, sorry. I thought he was gone at that point. No, no. Yeah, that's it takes smart. a long time off, but usually only in March. <laughs> well, you guys came to us asking for our help or our assistance in what yes. we could possibly do. This I mean, is the only you, alternative that we can come up with. I mean, what you're saying is you can't do what we asked for, and that's fine. We can't pull volunteers out of a hat. Like, we wish you could. No, no, so, but if you can't do it, that, that's fine. You can't do it. But let's not go someplace where we don't want to go. I'll get that. I really don't need anything else to do. <laughs> but if this is solving the problem, I will serve them. I think you'd be welcome. You have a volunteer. <laughs> you'd be welcome, Al. All right, so your commission wants to leave it the way it is, even though you have a problem getting members. Yep. Okay. I mean, we, it was a long discussion, believe me. And all of these questions were raised, and that was the decision. I discussed it with Jack, too. Coffee. Okay. Uh, any other opinions on the board here? Uh, I always find I find it hard to vote against the committee. You know, I mean, you are the guy. Uh, I do too. But at the same token, we got to do something. Something's got to change. Status quo is not working. Dave even said it. Well, status so, quo is kind of working. I don't think it's just. I mean, if you had a bunch more people who step up to the plate, and then they would be fine. But you don't have that. We, they just we just got one. Well, well you're not sure about that. So it's on tape right there. <laughs> there. There is the possibility of uh, taking it off the warrant for, uh -huh. for now. For, for now, and mm -hmm. putting it. If you have a problem between now and the and the, the annual town meeting in May, then it goes back on. Okay. How's we that? We can talk about it. For the main warrant, absolutely. Great. How's that? All right. Is that? Yeah. Good with everybody. Well, I don't like the sound of the threat, but um, well, we'll revisit it in the future. Yeah. As necessary. What's going to happen in another year when Jack returns? Jack looks at this as his retirement activity. Well, he said he's only going to he, give us one more year. He's he's done at the end of next year, isn't he? Well, then you're going to have a problem, because when well, you're gone, I'm gone. Why not get ready for it? <laughs> I'm only there because of him. Okay, so if Jack resigns at the end of this fiscal year, you're gone too. Yeah. So then, even if, if Malcolm goes on the committee, you, 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 now you have three. Yeah. Well, sooner or later. Yeah, I, would, I, would, I would have some uh, reservations about being on that committee if Jack wasn't too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, you're going to wind up as the Conservation Commission. And, you know, it sounds like you're shoveling sand against the tide here, Peter. Yeah. You know? But this isn't going to help in that case. I think it does. I, well, let's, let's see what people's intentions are before uh, the annual town meeting, which is pretty close to the end of the fiscal year, mm -hmm. and see whether or not it might, uh, it might uh, go further. I, I'm perfectly willing to wait until then. I just hope we don't have a problem. If we brought this to drop it till April of next year, I hope you don't have any meetings that you can't pull off because you haven't got enough help. Now we're going to be a little bit upset. All right. Yeah, we've been when very lucky this year. There haven't been any new projects much. But oh, there's some sure. coming up. They're going to need the Conservation Committee to approve. All right. I'll, I'll yes, make a motion. I'll make a motion. 25 RDAs and NOIs this year. I'll make a motion that we take this article off the warrant for this meeting, but if there are any problems with the Conservation Committee Commission between now and the annual town meeting, this goes back on the annual town meeting. No second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.
Okay. All right. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Malcolm. <laughs> now, if we can go through and, and make recommendations on these, um, no, no. there's a copy of this waiting on the assessor's computer, and I can print out a final copy for you to sign. Okay. Okay, let's go Article 1. Anybody having comments on Article 1? Does everybody agree with Article 1? I think it's something that's needed. A, a, vote, a, a vote would be handed. Yeah. Um, I, I make a motion that we, have, we approve Article 1. Do I have a second? Take that. All in favor? Aye. Everybody, that's three to zero, our recommendation. Okay. Um, all right, the second one, let's see, to see if the town will transfer from free cash or otherwise provide $35,514.90 for debt service for the new fire truck or to take any action relative thereto. Okay. That's... I think that's 3 0, that's right? Yeah. I'll make a motion that we approve that in article. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Next article, Article 3, to see if the town will transfer from free cash or otherwise provide $6,000 for matching funds for a grant to help move the town toward compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act or take any other action relative thereto. Thanks, Peter. Yeah. All right, we, we already have a grant for this, and this is part of that, we correct? Do, we do not have a grant for that. It's, uh, the application is due in mid-November. Okay, um, we're going we're to apply for a grant. Yes, in order to get the grant that we apply for, we have to have the funds in right. hand. Okay. So that's the order. Uh, if we don't get the grant, obviously the money stays right. in free cash. Right, okay, that's good. All right, I'll make a... Motion that we approve Article 3. Do I have a second? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, 3 0 for the board selection. Okay, number four to see if the town will transfer $3,840 from free cash or otherwise provide funds for tree work at the Conway Grammar School or take any action relative thereto. I have just one comment on that. Um, it was Walter Goodridge, the town tree warden, who came up with that figure. And he's provided the names of other loggers to get quotes from uh, as part of the procurement process for this article. Okay. Is this a is this a maximum amount? Yeah, he feels he's expensive. Okay. All right. <laughs> Relatively. Okay, so we can expect this to be. So it would be up to yeah. thirty-eight forty. Yep. Yeah. Do we want to change that language? No. No. Okay. We'll leave it then at thirty-eight forty. All right, I'll make a motion that we approve Article 4. A second. second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, 3 0. Okay. Mm -hmm. I could go through the, uh, the finesse on that with you, Bob, uh, later. If you want. Sorry. All right, Article 5 to see if the town will transfer from free cash or otherwise provide payment for four bills from a prior year. Uh, okay, we have one for. Uh, $451.36, we have one for $29.79, we have one for $209.35, uh, and one for $136.95, for a total of $827.45. Uh, I'll make a motion that we approve Article 5. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Right. Okay, 3-0. Okay, Article 6, to see if the town will create a revolving fund for Medicaid reimbursements or take any action thereto. Okay, what is that about? Uh, Jan has requested this. It will make her work on this easier. Right now she has to go through a bunch of paperwork to get that transfer done. A revolving account would mean into one account, out of the same account. All right, so um, it's a change in process? So it makes it more efficient process. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve Article 6. Second. A second. All Aye. in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, 3 0. Article 7, see if the town will amend uh, Section 4, town officers, boards, and committees, uh, of which the general bylaw as follows. It's general bylaw as follows. There shall be a finance committee of 
six rather than five registered voters were taking any action there. It was so six, going to it five. It was right. six, it will right. be five. Right, it's going to five. Uh, uh, this is the same situation as the, the commission. Right. They, they requested uh, we reduce the number. Um, it, it, it wasn't a, a direct request from them, uh, but they have um, now currently six, and sometimes they also have trouble reaching quorum. Uh, unfortunately, as evidenced by uh, last week when they were unable to reach quorum to make a recommendation on this article. Right. So um, I think that it will probably um, be generally acceptable to them. They will be meeting again next week, and they will have a recommendation on this at that time. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve Article 7. Is that a second? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Article 8 has been uh, tabled. Article 9. The see if town will approve the following resolution introduced by citizen petition or take any action relative thereto. This is a bylaw declaring Conway a safe community. Uh, comments? I wish uh, police chief make comments on it to us yet. No? Uh, the police, the police chief, chief is generally, um, uh, it does not favor this this petition for a variety of reasons. Okay. I've, I've spoken to the chief. He's mm -hmm. against it. Any any opinions, Bob? Well, I, I mean, I, I'm in favor of it, and I think it's largely uh, an agreement with what the Attorney General or the Supreme Court of Massachusetts has ruled. Uh, I disagree with it. I disagree with it. Um, well, that sounds almost like a vote. Yes. Um, <laughs> I. I can't agree with this article. Um, so we're we're Even generally generally one to two. One to two. We're two to one. And two to one, one to it could two. be moved, seconded, and voted down. That that would be two one. To okay. Two. I'll I'll make a motion that we uh, don't approve this article. Second. Your vote, Bob. Uh, well, I'd say no. We should You're approve this article. Oh, you're in favor. But okay. I'm not in favor. Bob's not in favor. So it's it's one to two. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, if I could have a uh, either a um, slight recess, or there's actually a couple of uh, letters before the bond request. Um, I have not a lot to say about the bond request, but a little bit. If you could go ahead with the letters, I'll get a final version. Okay. We'll do the letters first. Okay, we have uh, a couple of letters of recognition. The first is congratulations to our um, treasurer, Jan Warner, for her recent designation as a certified Massachusetts municipal treasurer. That's a very difficult certification to get, and we certainly congratulate Jan on that and, and the increase in her knowledge to do her job here at the town. Um, I'll make a motion that we sign this letter of congratulations to Jan. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The second letter is uh, congratulations to uh, James Wakefield for his uh, five years of service to the town of Conway. Uh, Jim works up at the transfer station. Uh, I'll make a motion that we uh, sign this letter of congratulations to Jim. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You worked for a grammar school for many years before that. Items not anticipated within 48 hours of the meeting. 
I don't know. Okay. Any concerns of the selectmen? No concerns as a selectman. Okay. Let me go over some mail while we're waiting for Tom. Okay, we have a letter from Frontier Regional and Union 38 School Districts um, from uh, the superintendent, Lynn Carey. It says, uh, it's addressed to the select board. It is, um, you are invited to attend a joint meeting of the Frontier Regional School Committee and the four town select boards and finance committees to discuss a bond proposal for Frontier Regional High School. The meeting will be at 6 p.m. on Tuesday, October 24th at the Frontier Regional School Media Center. Okay, that's from Lynn Carey. Um, we also have a letter from FERCOG, an invitation, the Cooperative Public Health Service Annual Meeting, which will be held uh, Thursday, October 26, from 5.30 to 8.30 at the Shelburne Falls Eagles Club at 52 State Street in Shelburne Falls. Uh, there's an RSV, RSVP in here. Uh, if you want to attend, uh, please see Tom, or you want to take that in. Yeah. So Not sure I've never been in the Eagles, though. You've never been in it? No. Are you serious? In the Elks Club over at Buckland a lot. That is the Eagles. This is in, oh, those, so that's what they mean here. Shelburne Falls, not over on the Shelburne side. On State Street, Shelburne Falls. Shelburne Street, well, Shelburne well. Falls on both sides. <laughs> right. We received a, um, a letter from the town of Sunderland and the 300 Celebration Parade Committee. Uh, they're asking us that we would be honored if we would participate in their parade to be held on Saturday, June 16th, 2018. Um, we have to let them know by October 30th of this year. So um, I think, are we interested in participating? What's the date? The date is June 16, 2018. I'm sure I'm free. Are you free that day? As far as I know. Okay. I'll be there anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'll ask Tom to um, to reply that that we will participate. Okay. All right. Please, would you give that to Tom and let him return that. Uh, do you have the yeah, here? <coughs> okay, we have As a reminder, I sent out today to you about the Massachusetts Selectmen's Association Fall Conference on Saturday, October 14th. That's a week from this Saturday. It's going to be at the Cyprian Club in Boylston. You got? Did you get? Did you get a notice of that? Yep. Yeah. Other item, we have the uh, Frontier Regional School District bond request in our folders. Uh, Tom is going to say something about this. So this is the one that we'll be meeting with with uh, Frontier about on the 24th. On the 24th, right. This is the higher one small. Yeah.
while we're waiting for Tom, um, I'll read his update. Um, his town administrator's update. Uh, the Parks, Recreation, and Trails Committee is ready to assign sports directors to various sports. At least one is on the committee. That's Jason Hunter for basketball. At least one other is not. I believe the select board should make yes. formal appointments, especially for the non-committee volunteers to cover the town in case there are disputes or someone has to be let go. We hope to have a complete list soon. Okay. We may be close to a resolution with the town hall insulation project. The problem was that the insulation installers, the subcontractor, had not used the amount of insulation at cellulose that was expected. Since the town is bound by the terms of its grant to an energy reduction target, the specification was critical, and our engineer is pushing back hard to get the job done right. The Energy Committee is also seeing whether Conway Grammar School would be interested in some energy conservation efforts in collaboration with UMass. <coughs> Tom, why don't you continue with your update there? All right. Uh, we're also moving forward on an RFP for a municipal solar field. Uh, the question now is whether to use a design-build RFP, a request for proposals, which gives a single number without a separate design cost, or whether to use the more traditional separate designer, which provides built-in oversight of the project. Uh, the Broadband Committee Chair has identified two unusually situated homes in Conway that were not part of the original Comcast count and is working with those households to see what arrangements might be made for them to receive service. So, so I can tell you where those homes are here. if you're interested. But um, <laughs> so, so both of these are homes right on the border of Conway and Ashfield. And, and one of them is Wesley Rowe's old home. He sold it. Yep. You know where that is? Yep. Base of Flag Mountain? Yes. Where yep. you're that's, a, that's a difficult problem. You're in Ashfield until Dif you're within, right next to his house. Difficult the, problem. The house yeah. is, in, is in Conway, technically, yep. and it's tough. Yeah. And, and the other one is a home on uh, Sabins Road, right on the Ashfield Sabins border. Um, from the field? Uh, it's way back in the field, yeah, and it gets its electricity from Ashfield, it's phoned from Ashfield. Uh, there's no Conway phone lines or power lines that go to it. Uh, so I've written to Comcast to ask them what they want to do. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure for either of them that they will be amenable, but we'll see. I had, I had a question today from a resident about North Poland Road, when that will be wired. Um, I have a question into Comcast to find that out. I do know that there have been um, a, another bundle of roads that have been released by Verizon, and I should be getting, within a couple days, a note from, from Comcast as to what roads those are. Okay. But I don't know. So. Okay. Could, could we post something on the website when you get that information? Sure. Okay. Sure. Great. All right. Thanks. Uh, for departmental news, as usual, the highway department will return to winter hours, five eight-hour days after Columbus Day. Two projects are being finalized. I'm waiting for a final executive summary of the ADA self-evaluation and transition plan. Tom McCarthy and I are both reviewing the draft. After we get a f revised final draft of the executive summary, the project will be complete. Uh, the final long-term plan has been, uh, the final long-term financial plan has been delayed due to illness, but we should be getting both hard copies and an electronic version soon. And I'm working with the treasurer collector to see what it would take to cover foreclosed properties with town insurance. You may recall we did not have that earlier. We have some figures and are working on a possible policy. What do we have for properties that have been foreclosed on that we own anymore? Uh, I'm not sure we have any at, at this point, but the, the problem is when, when we do have them, they're not insured. When we do get them. Um, and finally, Frontier Regional High School will be having a meeting October 24th to present a proposal for a bond for a comprehensive set of repairs to the regional school. Um, and that's in my, uh, that's actually on the agenda, so 
Uh, I'll just note now that they've invited both select boards and finance committees to attend. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you have any other comments on, on the uh, Frontier Regional School District bond? Uh, I just want to make uh, clear that these two... Um, did you get a handout on this by any chance? Yes, yeah, we got one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, not 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 the big handout. A little uh, eight and a half by eleven. That was that was attached to the front. Oh, okay. about this one? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Good. Good. The summary. Um, yeah. Yeah. You'll note that there are two different proposals in this large spreadsheet and discussion. So those are. Um, uh, it it's, depends on whether or not the track is fully refurbished. Uh, basically reconstructed, or whether it's just renovated. So those are the, the two different proposals, and each one of them is uh, has different annual costs. Well, as we speak right now, the track is at the present moment being worked on now. And I don't know what that work is, as opposed to the work that's being proposed. Uh, so anyway, that's the meeting. This is the plan. I, I pulled out the numbers for Conway and tried to make them a little bit more easy to look at and easy to compare for you. Uh, so that's all I had on that. Okay. And I do have, I made two copies of this, just in case. <laughs> all right, so we have clean copies to sign? Yeah. Okay. So all the recommendations are in there now. The former Article 8 is out. Article 9 has been renumbered as Article 8. Uh, maybe a motion would be in order to sign. I'll make a motion that we sign the uh, warrant as amended. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? come before the board our next meeting is October the 16th in the town office I'll make a motion that we adjourn I have a second all in favor Aye. Aye. okay thank you